have a question for you guys. How many of you guys play with this in your childhood? I'll be the first one to answer that. I did, and I'm still playing with it now. So this week, we're gonna capture the pure delight of our childhood. I know a lot of you guys know how to make this, but let's dress it up a little bit, and we can also use it as a home decor. Easter is just around the corner. You can use it to decorate your Easter party, and you can also use it as a toy. Let's begin, shall we? You can use any type of paper, but the best result would be using a cardstock. What I'm using is the typical color printing paper. Starting off, you need a perfect square, so I fold one side of the paper to the opposite side of the corner and remove the excess paper. You make the second fold to create the center X crease. Once you have the crease, take a scissor and start cutting following the crease line to the center. Leave about one inch away from the center. Be sure to cut all four corners. Mm, so far so good. Pretty easy, huh? Once you have the four corner cut, now we need to learn how to make this pin. You can use any type of wire. I just happen to have this jewelry making wires on hand. Once you have your wire, dab small amount of glue on the tip of the wire and insert it to a plastic bead. I like to dab a small amount of glue on the opposite side of the beads to make it extra secure. Set it to the side and allow it to dry. Here is a tree branch that I found in my backyard. I like to use this tree branch because it gives off a very organic look. Here I have some miniature screwdriver laying around the house. The old wood is pretty fragile so it's fairly easy to drill a hole. A little persistent and voila! Take your pin that should be dry by now. Poke it through the tip of the paper. Be careful not to tear the paper but just make that small hole. Grab another corner of the paper and poke it through the pin. And continue through to the rest of the two corners. Once you have all four corners to the pin, be sure to insert some beads to the pin. The beads are used as a spacer between the papers, helping easier airflow through the wheels, causing it to spin more freely. I mark the center of the paper, there is where I poke the pin. Be sure to poke the pin all the way through. Turn the pin wheels over and insert a bead. Insert the pin to the branch. I know I can simply wrap the wire onto the branch, but I like mine to be more durable and secure. That is why I drilled the hole. I really do think it's necessary, especially if you're planning to use it outdoor. See, it's working nicely. I also want to add two more to the branch. Pinwheels are just a delightful element from our childhood. It's a cute and inexpensive way to decorate a nursery. And for those of you that who don't want to grow up, you can also use it to decorate your room. Of course, you can use different colors to fit the theme of your party or your room. You can always test around with different elements. You don't always have to use tree branch or paper. You can also try to use plastic sheets or metal sheets. That's why I love DIY project because you can use a lot of your own creativity to create your own style. Be sure to take it outside and enjoy your day. It's actually pretty hard skating backward holding the pinwheels. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you next week. May you be happy.